So I have made a lot of videos, um, you know, kind of talking about modern women and their toxicity. You know, I think that that I, I if you want to look through my video history, I did a TikTok one where I went through these young women's uh, it's dating experience videos and just some of the crazy stuff that they say. And it's really easy to make fun of them. They are like walking jokes. I mean, their entire lives are like a self-own, you know, constant L's. And they post their own L's on social media for some reason all the time. Like they have this innate need to broadcast every single thing they do. And I'm not, I think it's a lack of self-awareness. But it's um, also time to pick on the men sometimes. Now, as you guys know, I tend to be more critical of modern women and their toxic narcissistic behavior. But there is, and what I wanted to talk about today, this sort of unrealistic expectations that I think that young men have. Uh, the This video is called The Trad Meme and the Waifu Dream because I think that a lot of young men have very unrealistic and very high standards for the type of women that they want, that they desire, and they don't necessarily hold themselves to the same high standard uh, when it comes to sort of what they're expecting from their wives. And I think a very good uh, example of this would be the kinds of young men that you see associating with the America First types, um, the so-called groipers that follow around a 23-year-old uh, Mexican homosexual named Nick Fuentes, um, the way that they talk about women is obviously very disgusting and disrespectful. Uh, but they have this sort of like hatred for women on the one hand, but then this desire for this sort of caricature that doesn't exist of like the perfect trad woman or the waifu, you know, <laughs> the the woman who's going to be totally subservient to them all of the time, that's going to be soft-spoken, feminine, mild-mannered, you know, and sort of stay home, take care of them. But at the same time, they are not even in a financial position where they could uh, make that a reality, right? Like, you have to have something to offer the trad lady, the trad Stacy, and the waifu. And so, you know, I think that part of their obsession with like these anime girls is this sort of unrealistic uh look that these girls have you know the waifu is um you know very slim she's got like you know a perfectly flat stomach she always has a large chest she's got these big eyes these uh rosy cheeks full lips long beautiful hair purple eyes or whatever you know and will basically be a caricature and not a human being and these anime girls are designed to be appealing to men they're designed to to look a certain way that is not like that regular women real women do not look like that they simply don't they don't have bodies like that they don't have disproportionate faces with these massive shaped eyes. You know, it would look really creepy if you saw an anime girl in real life with the same proportions. It would be really weird. Um, and then the, the trad Stacy. This is something that a lot of these conservative men claim to want, you know, and it's sort of like, but are you the trad man you know what what does that mean when they say they want a, a lady that is like a chaste virgin you know with a low body count okay but what's your body count right um you know and and what what are you bringing to the table for her to want to uh you know kind of be this trad meme um, so it's something to think about. And I do think it's very, it's in our modern society, like what incentive do women have 
to be that way, right? If you think about how our society is structured, like there isn't really an incentive for women to, to be that way. And I think that that's something that these younger men need to consider, that they need to keep that in mind. You know, this is a pretty funny meme, and I, I do agree with it in one sense that I think that women that look like this one on the left, I don't find them physically attractive. I do think the so-called trad one is more attractive, but let's just read this stuff, right? Just to give you an idea of how out of alignment with reality and absurdly high these standards are because, you know, the men in the red pill and MGTOW community, and while I do um, agree with a lot of the stuff they say, they're constantly complaining about women having high standards or standards that are not in alignment with reality. Like they'll say, oh, a woman wants to have a, a, a white man that is over six feet tall with a perfect body that isn't married that makes six figures or more a year and it's just totally out of alignment with reality well isn't the things that you're expecting also totally out of alignment with reality you want a naturally beautiful woman she's got to have nice cheekbones uh, beautiful blushing cheeks long flowing hair she has to dress in sundresses you know uh, not wear makeup she has to act as i mean really like what aren't your expectations absurdly high as well so they have the degenerate here wears tons of makeup because of her low self-esteem damaged hair from over dying got a crappy flower tattoo when she was 17 uses fake tanner so so dark she looks mexican she sleeps around to improve her self-esteem but it only makes her feel worse yeah but lots of men do that too wears clothing that barely fits her oof you hate to see it chubby from her diet of fast food and microwave meals aborted her black baby last year is only attracted to darker individuals claims she's bisexual but has only dated men works a minimum wage job because her gender studies degree didn't get her anywhere so that's obviously a caricature of what these men think degenerate women are and how they think modern women are and and in, and in some sense it is accurate but obviously this is a caricature and then they have the the trad one they say natural hair with highlights from the sun yeah because that's really <laughs> realistic okay loves her natural face and only wears light makeup natural tan from her outdoor lifestyle so she can't dye her hair she can't wear a lot of makeup she has to have an active outdoor lifestyle and a good body her husband works to support her staying at home and raising the kids she has to want to be a stay-at-home mother also wears modest and feminine clothing um, in her 20s, but is already married with kids. Slim figure from her healthy homemade meals and active lifestyle. Homeschools her kids so they aren't taught pro progressive BS in school. Loves her family, race, and country. In that order, of course. Knowledgeable about her European roots. So obviously another caricature. And it is ridiculous to expect a, a young woman to want to act that way or to expect that from a young woman with our modern society and how women are raised and how things are structured and incentivized women have no incentive to be that way unless you give them an incentive and it's these young men sort of expect women to want to what to to want to have natural hair natural makeup a natural tan an active lifestyle homeschooling kids have kids in your 20s have a slim figure it's like make homemade meals how do you not think that that expectation is normal you don't think that's out of alignment with reality the same you know young women that you make fun of for having absurd expectations of men you don't think you have absurd expectations of women Quite obviously, you do. And then, of course, the waifu, right? This idea that, you know, you could... And I've seen these guys say this, okay? These same men will 
come up with these copes, right? Where they'll talk about how they're going to do, not like sex tourism, but they want to get an Asian wife, right? Because in their minds, they think that Asian women are more submissive, more traditional, uh, more agreeable. Um, so they, they cope and tell themselves that it's okay for them to, you know, go to another country and get a wife and then what bring her to the west these same men say they're saving the west they're saving you know the european race but then they'll come up with these copes for why it's okay for them to race mix why it's okay for them to not marry a western woman or a european woman so it's just really ridiculous you know they'll talk about getting russian um, oh yeah, get a Russian or Eastern European girl or something like that. Be th th just constant coping, constant copes. And, um, you know, again, it's sort of like uh, an inability to face the reality of the situation and th the inconsistencies in their own positions, their own statements. And then at the same time, aren't you then, you know, um, incentivizing like hypergamy in foreign women you know these same men will complain about women being hypergamous and monkey branching and always looking to trade up aren't you taking advantage of that instinct in women though when you go after foreign women and get yourself a foreign bride isn't that her trading up her local working class man for a wealthier western man i mean that seems like you're you're then supporting hypergamy in a different sense so how can you complain about women being that way uh, when you're contributing to that so there's a lot of like inconsistencies here that i don't think these people have these men have really thought thought through and the I, I don't think it's true anyways you know there this idea that you need to make everything like a political statement and politicize your family like that you should pick somebody as a partner or as a wife or something based on this ridiculous political ideal um it what is that and is that helpful I don't think that it is you know and I think that it's just silly um, and I think this is a, a perfect meme to express this absurd standard that these guys have while at the same time complaining about women's high standards and, you know, how they, the women don't have anything to offer. They don't bring anything to, ta to the table, but they expect men to do everything for them. Well, you have the same, you know, high expectations also. <laughs> vagina has never been gazed upon even by herself <laughs> somehow happens to be into kinky stuff must fulfill his profane fetishes must be based in red pilled must be the splitting image of his conception of trad femininity and nothing less exactly that's right has never spoken to another man besides her strong father <laughs> virgin but not one of those weird virgins must be a, a nine out of ten or higher and can't accept anything less due to years of porn desensitization exactly quote tell me more statistics about interracial cr crime differences it's so interesting to me unquote yeah of course she's gotta you know have the right political beliefs or whatever um must take a passionate interest in political theory expected to become well read in the works of master and schopenhauer must have a fat ass and big titties exactly must be fully accepting of him playing video games for seven to six hours daily um right wardrobe consists of sundresses and other modest attire meals prepared for him three times a day while he needs hasn't thought out the financial logistics yet wants a high value virgin girlfriend or waifu without having to try or better himself and that it really sums up the purpose of this video is to you know kind of explain that this idea is ridiculous and to try to push this on 
uh, Christian conservative women, these unrealistic expectations. You know, you're just as crazy and out of touch with reality as the modern women that you hate and make fun of. So if you enjoyed this video, let me know. Uh, make sure to like it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you have any comments or thoughts about my video, or if you disagree with me, let me know in the comments below. I love interacting with you guys and hearing your thoughts about the videos I make. And, um, you know, I think that this is a little different from the stuff that I normally talk about. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it.